Hmm, mumbled Chick. Maybe you can run really fast. Come on, catch me. Clumsy Duck chased after him. She could waddle a lot faster than she thought. Until, flump. Never mind, said Chick. Let's try something else. Your big feet might be good for perching on a branch, said Chick. Chick showed Duck how it was done. Clumsy Duck jumped up too, but her feet couldn't get a grip. Poor Clumsy Duck fell off. Never mind, said Chick. Let's try something else. Maybe your feet are good for hopping, said Chick. Chick was good at hopping and hopped onto a large flat stone next to the pond. Copy me, duck. But Clumsy Duck was not good at hopping. She tripped, slipped, and then splashed into the pond. Chick stared at Clumsy Duck in amazement. Look at you, squealed Chick. You're the fastest, bestest, most elegant swimmer I've ever seen. And it was true. Clumsy Duck was not clumsy in the pond. She moved across the water like a ballerina. That's it, Duck, cried Chick. Your feet are perfect for swimming. If I could swim like you, I wouldn't mind being clumsy on land. Duck was happily gliding around the pond. And from that day on, Duck didn't mind one little bit that she was a clumsy duck on land because she was such a wonderful swimmer in the water.